The U.S. Department of Defense has taken a significant step to bolster the defense capabilities of its armor fleets by equipping its Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicles with the Iron Fist Active Protection System. This initiative, marked by a $191.2 million contract awarded to General Dynamics Ordnance and Tactical Systems, will strengthen the defensive posture of the U.S. Army's mechanized units as they prepare to face evolving threats in modern warfare. The contract, which runs until July 2027, includes an unspecified number of Iron Fist systems to be installed on the Bradley fleet. The decision to equip the Bradley IFVs with the Iron Fist system is a major upgrade to their protection suit. The Iron Fist APS, developed by Israel Airbus Systems, is designed to neutralize incoming threats such as anti-tank guided missiles and rocket propelled grenades by detecting and intercepting them before they strike the vehicle. The system is also being tested to counter advanced kinetic energy threats such as armor-piercing discarding support projectiles, further broadening its defensive capabilities. This modernization will be complemented by advanced radar and warning systems on the Bradley vehicles. These onboard sensors will detect incoming projectiles and laser-guided systems triggering Iron Fist countermeasures in conjunction with warning alarms to alert the crew of potential attacks. This suit of enhancements ensures the Bradley IFVs will be well equipped to operate in the ever-changing environment of modern battlefields. The Bradley, which has been in service with the U.S. Army since the 1980s, essential to America's mechanized infantry units. It combines mobility, firepower, and protection, but its increasing vulnerability to modern anti-armor weapons has necessitated defensive upgrades. The addition of the Iron Fist APS is crucial in extending the vigor's service life and ensuring it remains a formidable asset in future conflicts. The U.S. Army is set to modernize its fleet of Bradleys as part of a broader push to enhance survivability and operational effectiveness. The Army has already introduced the M2A4E1 variant, which comes with improved armor, firepower, and mobility. Coupled with the Iron Fist APS, the upgraded Bradley variants will be able to withstand a wide range of threats, including those posed by sophisticated missile systems deployed by adversaries in conventional and hybrid warfare scenarios. Active protection systems are becoming increasingly vital in modern warfare, as they provide a necessary layer of defense against the growing proliferation of anti-tank weapons. These systems, like Iron Fist, use sensors and radar to track incoming threats and deploy countermeasures, either by launching a projectile or creating an electronic disruption to neutralize them before they hit the vehicle. APS is especially important for vehicles like the Bradley which are designed to operate in close coordination with infantry in high-threat environments. The use of APS is becoming more widespread as ammo units worldwide face increasing threats from modern anti ammo technologies. The U.S. Army's decision to equip Bradley's with Iron Fist mirrors a broader trend of integrating APS technology to enhance survivability on the battlefield. As new anti-tank weapons and missile systems become more sophisticated, 
systems like Iron Fist will play a critical role in ensuring armor vehicles remain effective in combat. While originally designed for the Israeli Defense Forces, the Iron Fist APS has garnered international interest. Apart from the US Air Base Systems, recently secured a contract to supply Iron Fist to BAE Systems Hucklands in Sweden, which will use it for its fleet of CV-90 infantry fighting vehicles. This demonstrates the growing recognition of Iron Fist's effectiveness and its ability to be integrated into a variety of platforms. The deployment of the Iron Fist APS on Bradley IFVs not only represents a major investment in the modernization of the U.S. Army's armor fleet, but also underscores the importance of active protection technology in future military engagements. As the global battlefield becomes more complex with threats emerging from both state and non-state actors, the need for enhanced vehicle survivability will only increase. The U.S. Army's move to equip its Bradleys with Iron Fist is also a reflection of shifting military strategies. Modern warfare increasingly requires vehicles that are not only capable of delivering firepower, but are also able to survive in environments saturated with precision guided munitions and anti-tank weapons. By investing in Iron Fist, the Army is ensuring its mechanized infantry can continue to operate effectively even in the most dangerous combat zones.